Now into an update to a WSAZ investigation. We told you last night about the West Virginia Department of Health and Human Resources planned group home that would house people charged with crimes but deemed incompetent to stand trial. The group home already under construction and sits near countless homes, schools, school bus stops, and a daycare. Tonight, less than 24 hours after our investigation aired, the DHHR is changing course. I spoke with neighbors and lawmakers who say the change is a start, but brings a new set of concerns. My voice can be heard to anyone. Um, I definitely would advise against putting um, forensic patients there. That was Jennifer Lester just about 24 hours ago when we told her about the State Department of Health and Human Resources plan to put a group home for mentally ill patients charged with crimes just two doors down from her house in Huntington. The property on Norwood Road sits in the middle of a residential area near school bus stops, a daycare, and not far from schools. Tonight, the DHHR changing course on that plan. While the agency ignored our request for an on-camera interview, they sent out this press release late Tuesday afternoon. It states in part, quote, at the time this facility was envisioned in 2021, leaders at DHHR agreed its best use for the Huntington community was as a forensic group home. However, now with so many children in state custody in need of residential mental health intervention being served out of state, we revealed advised its purpose to instead be a home to serve West Virginia's youth with mental health needs. So I reached back out to Jennifer to share the news. When I called you, you said, you know, just tell me what your emotion was when you like picked up your phone and saw the time. I started crying. Happy tears. Because I have two beautiful girls myself that are nine and under. And um, there are the same age girls within a very small radius of um, of that facility and I don't want to think that they can't go out and play in their yard and um, I obviously keep a close eye on them but I don't think I would even be able to walk away for a second if that was a forensic facility while working on my original investigation I reached out to local leaders and lawmakers I also reached out to representatives for this district State Senator Wolfel, Delegate Rohrbach, and County Commissioners Sabonia, Mant, and Caldwell, who, like Jessica, say they did not know about the construction of this facility. You brought this to my attention, I believe. I mean, you sent me yes. uh, information about what the actual proposed house was going to be, and I was very dissatisfied with that. And I got a hold of DHHR uh, this morning. Yes. And, and uh, went in great detail my dissatisfaction with this being a forensic uh, build or building in a residential neighborhood. With DHHR now saying the facility will house youth in foster care, we reached out asking if those placed there will have a history of mental or behavioral issues and if they will be coming from out of state facilities. A spokesperson responded saying it will be a residential mental health treatment facility for children who historically have been served in out of state facilities. So we asked Jennifer if she has any worries about the new direction of the facility. I do have a little bit of concern. Um, you know, a lot of times foster kids, um, especially older foster kids, they've been abused and they're still trying to figure out the world and they're still, um, there's a lot of behaviors and they like to run away. <laughs> um, so I figure um, I may end up with some in my yard. <laughs> but at my facility, we actually have those children there as well. Are you concerned that they would ever change their mind and go back to a forensic facility? Well, I'm always concerned. And that's why I'm going to keep looking into this situation because uh, that is just not something that needs to be placed in that neighborhood. Now, I also received a statement from West Virginia Senator Mike Wolfel, who represents that area where the home is being built. His statement reads in part, I am pleased that DHHR has reversed its chosen purpose for this site and hopeful the agency will see fit to involve the community in the future. DHHR should learn from its errors and act more responsibly in the future.
Now, in the last hour, Cabell County Commissioners reached out to me as well with a statement that reads in part, while we are pleased to learn through WSAZ that their original plans will change from a forensic adult program to a facility to house foster children, it could still leave the door open for future changes by DHHR. Moving forward, the Commission will solicit the input of the citizens of Cabell County in developing policies that afford such protections and demand that the West Virginia DHHR create a seat at the table of dialogue with any future plans that involve Cabell County. And you can find that full statement in my story over on the WSAZ app. We still have a lot of questions and we'll be following up with DHHR and lawmakers about this facility and how future facility plans will be handled going forward.